Your homework tonight is to rewrite this cartoon panel as an all text narrative passage. And I'm going to show you how to do that using another passage um, that has a similar task. Let's go down here to this example. Your job is to rewrite the cartoon panel as an all text passage. Use the rules and hints in your notebook chart. This is the rules and hints from your notebook chart. Your first task is to figure out, step number one, is to figure out who's saying what and put each speaker's words in a new paragraph. That's rule number four, new paragraph, new speaker. The first speaker is Hammy. He says, mom, can I teach Ren a new word? The second speaker is the mom. She says, absolutely. And she continues in the next panel, I'd love that. And in the third panel, as long as it doesn't rhyme with dart, start, or cart. And then last, Hemi says, oh well, forget it then. So you might want to be drafting this in your notebook and leaving some extra space to write things between these lines, but you're going to put each of the three lines of dialogue from the characters on a different line. So we have Hammy's words here in exact quotation marks. In the speech bubble, it ends with a question mark, so it does here too. We're copying it exactly. And then we have the mom's line, even though it goes across three different panels. It's all one speaker, so we're going to just run it together as a sentence. And then Hammy speaks again um, at the end. Step two is to add some dialogue tags and apply the dialogue tag rules. Remember that you have, um, that the dialogue tag can come at the beginning, the middle, or the end. And to show that I've really got this, I'm going to use one dialogue tag in each place. So the first sentence, I'm going to put the dialogue tag at the beginning. I'm going to say, Hammy says, comma, and then Hammy's words. I'm going to put the middle dialogue tag in the middle. It's convenient because she has a couple of different sentences here. So after her first sentence, absolutely, mom replies, and I've got my quotation mark here because... I can't change it to a comma because I need to know how to read it. And then I have a period here because that's the end of a sentence. And now mom has another sentence that I'm not going to use a dialogue tag for, just a full sentence from what's in her speech bubble. And then finally, I'm going to use a dialogue tag at the end. And because this sentence ends with a period, well then forget it. I'm going to change it to a comma because that's what you do when the dialogue tag comes at the end. And then I'm going to say hammy stammers. So now I'm on step three. I've already figured out who's speaking and put their exact words in quotes. I've also added some dialogue tags at the beginning, middle, and end. I've checked my commas and exclamation points. They're inside the quotation marks. And I've got the right punctuation when the tag is at the middle or the end. My last step is to apply the hints. One is to add some acting or thinking of the character that goes with the dialogue. And the other one is to make sure I've used the most active verb that I can think of for the word said. So I'm going to go back and look at the pictures here and say what's going on. So I'm going to describe some of the actions of the characters that I see in the pictures. I'm going to say, Henry pulls Ren by the hand into the kitchen. Then I've got his dialogue. I'm going to say, Hemi calls out. Mom, can I teach Ren a new word? Then I'm going to the middle panel here, but this is still Hammy's line, and he's the one I'm going to describe. So I'm going to include his actions on the same line as his words. Hammy smiles, trying to look innocent. This little comma with an ing word is a good way to do a think and act. Hammy smiles, comma, 
trying to look innocent. Mom turns around. Absolutely, Mom replies. I'd love that as long as it doesn't rhyme with dart, start, or cart. She gives Hammy a meaningful look. That's that look right there. Daring him to cross her. Because Hammy wants to use the word fart, right? And then Hammy's back to his line. Oh, well then forget it, Hammy stammers, letting go of Ren's hand and walking away. Busted again, he thinks. And that's it. Those three steps. If you start writing in your journal as a draft, then you can add in the tags and you can add in the extra lines. So leave some space between the dialogue um, sentences when you do your draft. And when you're all done, write it on here. Here's your rubric. Good luck. I look forward to reading them.